DJ Lamb at Ruthless Records. We're joined by C1. What's going on, bro? Your style day. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Brother. Definitely, man. Good to have you up in the shop, man. Yeah, been what, like overdue, obviously, to get you on the camera, to get an interview with yourself. For those who don't know about C1, man, just to give them a little introduction about who you are, where you come from, what you do. Boy. You don't know me, ask a friend. You know me? But yeah, man. Creator of North Star, you know what I'm saying? Started this shit way, way, way back when all these mixtapes weren't even heard of. You just only saw one street mixtape, Not Guilty, Young Spree, The Hottest South, you know what I'm saying? Built this empire from so solid. We're still here, we're still going like six, seven years later. Yeah, man, so obviously, like, North Star obviously branched off the whole so solid thing. Like, What's the relationship and how was the relationship formed and what, and what, is, it, what is it about? Basically, there's a little argument going on in Iron Park. We flew over there to see what was going on. But my nigga Meg, Meg was in jail with Lambie and Wes and that from long yeah. time ago. So, built up with Mega, got some shit cracking, terrorised the island. You get me from there? Boy, I just came out from a big set, from a big case, beat the case, come out on road. Basically, licked up Mega and just showed me, boy, you know what? Just a couple roads you can go, you know what I mean? But obviously, you don't got a buzz around you without music. So if you come into the industry, this is what you can do. Sat down with Megan, we started getting shit popping. Yeah, so, yeah, man, so obviously, like, you, you know, your connection started with, it, like, not really a musical purpose, you can say. But North Star, personally, the name North Star has always been music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we come from a street that's been in trouble in the past and whatnot, but you know what? A lot of kids have in it when we come from the society that we come from. But at the same time, North Star, people get confused with a gang, which it isn't a gang. The name North Star was never was affiliated to a gang. Because members, maybe, that came from the street started to try and do music. So, what basically happened when we started music, people started to say, ah, oh, is it a gang? I hate. North yeah. Star was invented to create music as an entertainment company. Mm. So, like, Obviously, North Star, its sole purpose is obviously entertainment. Mm -hmm. Like, how deep does the relationship go between yourself and other members within North Star? Well, and how far back does it go? Young Spray, basically, I've known Young Spray from when he was about 15. He was in prison together. He was a naughty boy, obviously, to yeah. be in prison at 15. You get me, so was I. He was in prison, linked up in there. I already knew his sister and a couple other people. He knew a couple of my boys, looked after him, he was in the same wing, whatever, came out. I was in that prison, he was in that prison, didn't really get to see him again. Mm -hmm. When we did buck up, obviously he showed me he had the talent. I was like, raw, you got bars. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I always went to be the brains behind the operation. You get what I'm saying? So what I did, I, put, I formed a group. Whereas I was well known, so I was the hype. Everybody used to talk about me without music. So yeah. I got spray, lyricists, you get what I'm saying? And then I got China. Now that was a girl vocalist that, at the time, wow, you get what I'm saying? So if you put all three together, you had the hype, you had the lyricist, yeah. and you had the vocalist. That brand new star. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, like, you guys come with a bang, like, I remember being a lot younger, mm. turning on my TV one day, mm. you know, you got them, them shabby channel yeah, videos, yeah, and then your yeah. one popped up, mad mm. polished and that, mm. obviously you had, like, involvement with all sorts of solid things. So we all saw the affiliations and whatnot. Like, like how inspiring was, Seeing the success of Soul Sonic commercially, how did that influence you to say, you know what, boom, North Star needs to needs to push forward? Well, you know what, like you know? people people forget what Soul Sonic done. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because up to today, all right, all these on the wall, but that's where they are. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Soul Sonic come from the street and they built something so powerful with the industry closing down. So at the same time, when I was watching what Soul Sonic done, I was trying to learn from their mistakes. Obviously myself, I never had no mainstream label. I never had the big funding which they had. Mm. But at the same time, I still went to come across Glossy. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I thought in the UK, there ain't no stars in it. Like, like you see, you see, you see them in, on the videos, they look kind of all right, but most of them look like they just go up off bed and pick up their clothes from the floor. You get what I'm saying? That's how the videos I was seeing. So I said, you know, when we come, we have to come like with the extra gloss. Yeah, yeah. So when you see us, we look like stars. And we, when you see us right out off the camera, we still look like stars. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I think watching so so is success. Like if everyone was running around seeing 21 seconds. And if you weren't using it in the, in the club dancing, I don't know. So they built it from the underground. So me personally, as a businessman, watching what Mega Man built is inspiring. And he said to me, you know, if you can, build, you can hustle and build what you've done on the road, 
you can do the same in the music industry. Yeah, so definitely. they played a big part in inspiring man to come from the street and start music. Definitely, and obviously you guys come a long way since that. Mm. Like last year you had a CD art. Mm. And a lot of American collaborations, like solo tunes, mm. collaborations with American artists. I mean, how did that come about? How did your connection with, with the US come about? Well, what it is, like, when a lot of them come over here, they check us anyway from the affiliation of other things that we do yeah. you know, through the clubs and through other promotions that we do. And my other business partner does a lot of work with a lot of the Americans, so basically they want us to come over. When they came here, we built a relationship, went over to New York, started um, recording with D Block and then the rest of them. But basically, like, they just like what man do, like, they like man as a person, you get what I'm saying? Man is business, so. There's a lot of guys that are, yeah, they got bars and whatever not, but have you got the business brain to move a movement? You know, my situation is a movement, you know what I'm saying? It isn't just rappers, Yeah. it's a movement, you know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of them saw that, bring us to New York, and then we just got the collaborations popping in. Yeah, definitely, and like, do you think that, like, in America right now, like, with the rappers that you have worked with, or are in connection with, are they, are they more concerned about, say, the affiliation and the business, maybe more than the music? Is it more of that? I think, yeah. I would say that the affiliation with it, with, it, with, with our situation, I think they more like. But obviously they do like the music at the same time. But they understand that it's a growing thing, isn't it? Like they're 10 years ahead of us. So they understand our struggle to a certain extent. But at the same time, a lot of them are selfish. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm. you see how it is over there, innit? So, yeah, there's a lot of people. that The, the, the main guy I've met that I think Show real love. All of them show love in it, but when I done the film with 50 Cent, he, he reached out for man uh, yeah. to a different level, so I've got respect for the G still. Yeah, how did, how did that come about? So, Basically, um, I was, whatever happened, I got went for a casting for a film called Dead Man Run coming out of October with um, like, all the guys from the business and 50 Cent was basically in the film, so we hooked up. Obviously, his trailer's next door to my trailer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just got chatting, rare, 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 rare. Before I know it, he said, You know what? I'm going to do you a favour. Yeah. I like you, rare, rare, rare. Full went studio, done the tune with him. He said, Look, we're going to do this and promote this. He's just a good guy, so that's kind of. Oh, was that out uh, in America, yeah? No, this was here. Over here, yeah. Yeah, the whole film shot here. That's a good look, man. So obviously, have you still got that connection with 50? Yeah, we've still got. But 50 is a um, very busy man, but I speak to the people that run the media records all the time. Yeah, yeah. So they send beats so far and stuff like that. Yeah, could we see, could we BC, could we see some in the near future maybe where G-Unit could be landing in the UK maybe with your involvement or something yeah, like yeah, that. Definitely, that's, 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 on the, that's on the books right now as we speak. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, we're a movement, innit? So anything to do with entertainment, whether it's not rapping, maybe it's putting on shows, whether it's yeah. anything along that film, anything in the entertainment, I want part of it, I want ins.